What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films back with another video. And you clicked on this video for a couple of reasons. One, you are actually a trash editor and you're looking for some advice, some tips and tricks to up your video editing game. Or two, you think you're a good editor, but you're not, and you're just watching this video for entertainment. Either way, both of you will get something out of this. I guarantee you these massive BBC tips will make it seem like you're actually a good video editor. By BBC, I mean big, bold, cinematic tips. But the reality is you probably still aren't. It's just douchey tips that create the illusion that you know what you're doing. That's what I'm here for. To trick your clients and your colleagues that you actually know how to video edit. But the reality is you're still trash. With that said, let's get to it. Of course, the first tip is the most tube douchey of them all. The worst of the worst, but the most effective. It is the eight millimeter film overlay. If you want to make your film look more professional, look more filmic, look more cinematic, and I guess to make it look like you can actually tell a story, just slap an eight millimeter film overlay over your footage Everyone is doing it. It is more played out than a Squarespace ad read on YouTube. It is eight millimeter film overlay. Put it in your video for absolutely no reason. It'll make sense somehow. Just randomly throw in an eight millimeter film overlay. You look like you are a war winning. Moving on to the massive BBC tip number two. Big bold cinematic tip number two is just throw in some light leaks. Even better, mix in those light leaks with your eight millimeter film overlay. All of a sudden, it looks like you know how to smoothly transition from shot to shot, even though all you're doing is putting some random light leak overlays you downloaded off Storyblocks. Congratulations, you are now a professional video editor. The only thing more leaky than light leaks is your bank account if you don't use light leaks in your video. You're not making any money, you're not getting hired, because your videos look unprofessional. Put those light leaks in your edit. BBC tip number three. Randomly layer footage on top of each other. What I mean is just put it at 50% opacity and just start throwing random clips over one main clip. And all of a sudden it looks like you're doing some trendy, cool effect edit. But the reality is you're just doing it at random, maybe matching it to the beat or whatever. And suddenly you look like a professional video editor. If you wanna look professional, you gotta just start throwing in random clips, put 50% overlay on them. You automatically look you professional. Straight up tube douchey trash mushroom tip number four, speed ramp. We all know this trick. When you're about to move out from one clip, you increase the speed of that clip. And then the new clip, you increase the speed initially and then you slow back down. Because you did that, now it looks like you did a smooth transition from one clip to the next. And next thing you know, Storyblocks will start sponsoring you in no time. That is how effective the speed ramp is. If you don't want to use speed ramps, fine. The only ramp you're going to be speeding up on is that ramp that leads up to that government office for you to get your welfare checks. You're not going to get hired. You ain't got no job. BBC mushroom tip number five. Color match reveal trick. Color match reveal, meaning you take the camera, you move it into something blue or black or whatever, and then you take the next clip that starts with that color blue or black, and then you reveal the new clip. Watch any tube doucher tutorial of editing tricks, and this will be in there. Also, what will be in the video is an advertisement for their new LUT pack that will make your video look like absolute trash. But I heard mixing all these tips with one of those LUT packs will make you look professional. That's what I heard. Whether it's true or not, Douchey tip number six is a simple mass transition, which means you are filming some random D-bag or some random subject as you are moving your camera from left to right. Something obstructs the camera. You keep moving until that item is no longer in the shot. And then you mask off one side of that footage. And then underneath it, you reveal the next clip. Everyone will be in awe of your skills and it automatically unlocks some different physical skills for you because you'll be able to do backflips, things of that nature off mountain cliffs into a nice turquoise blue river below. And then you'll be sponsored by Canon 
and then Canon will start sending you their trash cameras for review and for use in your videos, making you look professional. BBC tip number seven, to make you look a little bit more professional, even though you're still trash. Vertigo effect on your footage. Meaning if you are moving towards a subject, then in post, you would scale in initially and keyframe to scale back out. It'll create this vertigo effect in your footage, making it seem a bit more epic, a bit more cinematic, a bit more filmic, and of course, a quite a bit more professional. You'll be editing cinematic films with unlicensed EDM music in no time. Massive mushroom tip number eight is the rotation effect on your footage. Or you can just simply call it the inception effect because Christopher Nolan used that effect a lot in his inception movies. But pretty much it is just scaling in a bit in your footage and then using a rotation keyframe to make it look like it is rotating around. Or you could do it with your gimbal or what have you, or you could do it handheld, what have you. But at the end of the day, it makes you look more professional. And then once you use it, like every other effect in this list, just do it randomly because there's no rhyme or reason for any of this because 90% of the films I watch when these are used, it is there for random. It's just there for completely no reason at all. But apparently it makes it seem like you're a better video editor. So definitely use it. If you don't, then the only thing that you'll be rotating is the burgers at your local McDonald's. With that said, $15 is more than what I'm making doing this YouTube video, so I should probably know my role and shut my mouth. Massive BBC tip number nine, sound design. Put random exaggerated sounds throughout your video, especially when doing all of these previous BBC mushroom tips before and you will look more professional. For example, check out this clip and then the same clip with sound. <laughs> and then check out this clip and then the same clip with sound. <laughs> Award winning. If you want to be a professional, you need to put random sound design throughout your videos. Girthy, massive, BBC tip number 10, which is an absolute bonus, which will guarantee you at least a dozen likes on Facebook when you post this video up, as well as of course, making it seem like you are a professional video editor. And it's not really an editing trick, just throw in a random close up macro shot of someone's eye in the video. It could be, it could be there for absolutely no reason, but for some reason, if you have a macro shot of someone's eye in the video somewhere, it could be someone's wedding video and they're Asian and they have brown eyes, get a clip of someone with blue eyes really close and for some reason it'll work. It'll look very cinematic and filmic, epic, and of course, be professional. So there you have it, 10, free BBC tips for you to use in all your videos to make you seem like you are a professional video editor, even though you are still absolutely unadulterated grade A trash at your job. But um, it doesn't matter if no one else knows that. The fact that you trick them into thinking that you know what you're doing. By using these tube douchey, trendy, AKA played out video editing techniques in all your future videos. Hope you liked this video. As always, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, whether you liked this video or not, whether all of these mushroom tips were useful or not. I'm sure they are because most of you are trash video editors. And until next time, lighten up. Hey man, you the eight millimeter film overlay? I mean, I use it sometimes, but only when it makes sense. Oh my God, you're a trat. You need to use the eight millimeter film overlay all the time. Why would I use random overlays for no reason? If you want to be the bat, if you want to be professional, if you want to be award winning, 
You need to use eight millimeter film overlay. Bro, it's a random overlay. Let me show you. Tire, your film look like track. Sign up for my big boat cinematic matter class, and I will show you all the cinematic tip and trick to make you a war winning. Honestly, it could be for free and I still wouldn't sign up. It not free. Sign up for my BBC Matter Clat for only $29.99.